Hi guys, good evening. It's me once again, your friend, your best buddy. We're here, Luella Labalde, and welcome to my channel. If you're new to the channel, guys, please hit like, subscribe, and please also hit the notification bell so that you guys will be updated every time I post a new video. <laughs> tonight we'll be discussing more about health as we all know that we are really bombarded with a lot of pressures right now a lot of uh, let us say worries and everyone is really apprehensive because right now you know the there is this rapid rise of the cases of COVID-19 in our country right now that is why everyone is really um, doing their best especially the Department of Health who is actually spreading the activity right now doing a lot of things information drive and how we'll be able to flatten so it's been actually a year that we thought that we will be able to manage it but because of the uncertainties as well as the inevitable situations that is why we notice right now that the number of cases the COVID-19 is continuously rising so that is why um based on the facts given to us it's really more about prevention guys and there is really a report that no virus can actually penetrate to a healthy cell so we need to prepare our body for this because this is really very challenging really if you will ignore advice coming from the health professionals we might as well be regretful at the very end so number one right here is prevention is better than cure we may we need to get ready we need to ready our bodies we are not really sure whether we are safe or not right because we can be out there and then we will be there our body can be vulnerable depending upon how powerful how good your immune system is let me discuss to you about the three important elements or three important uh, words well number one is we need to have right kind of food and what are these foods now we need to make sure that our body is really penetrating essential vitamins we need to have vitamins minerals as well as the antioxidants we need it guys so where do we get these particular kinds of vitamins and minerals well it's just actually in our environment mother earth is already giving us all of these vitamins these essential vitamins that are just actually scattered around we need to intake a lot of vitamins and these vitamins can be found or can be extracted coming from the juices or the fruits green leafy vegetables the crops so we need to take them we need to eat them because these vitamins and minerals can really help us boost our immune system so that's one thing guys so you know we're living in a world where everyone loves to have instant food the adverse effect when, when we want to have instant, of, of course, our health is really put at risk or at stake. So that is why we need to be packing. We need to be. We need to choose the food that we are actually eating. There are foods that are available in the market right now, processed foods that are that are really not beneficial, or they can do harm to our immune system, to our body in general. So as a responsible human being if you wanted really to secure a healthy life the food is really one of the factors that can really affect that particular health when you want to be in your peak of your health consider the food so avoid processed foods what are these processed foods these foods are canned foods okay because they do have a lot of preservatives additives that can really devastate or put danger bad to our health so you need to switch from these foods going to vegetables they contain they are concentrated in a lot of vitamins and minerals well our nature is really giving us a lot so sometimes we try to we keep on really searching on what is really the antidote what is really the the solution the medicine 
And sometimes we we become very desperate. We do not know the answer. But you know what? God is already providing us with these foods because these foods found in nature are are organic one and they can help boost our immune system so number one eat the right kind of foods you need to have a lot of vitamins and minerals in your body so that your body can really resist or that body will become strong with the help of your immune system and whatever foreign bodies like bacteria uh, viruses whatever it would be microorganisms that can do harm our body can actually engulf these um pathogenic this harmful or disease causing bacteria or microorganisms so all we need to do is to take them because they are they can really help us eliminate the wastes improve our immune system and our body ourselves needs them number two is we need to have proper exercise we need to exercise guys and there has been already a lot of studies that when you do exercise daily it can really help boost your immune system all right when you exercise you perspire oh have daily exercise like brisk walking that's uh that's a simple exercise but that can really help a lot in improving the performance of the different vital organs in your body like your heart muscular organ in your body that never sleeps and this heart keeps on pumping it, it actually does its job, its function really to pump blood all throughout the parts of the body. We need to perspire. We need to do action. We need to, we need to exercise. Some of you would engage in jogging. Some of you would engage in biking. Of course, when we do exercise, it can also add up stress to our body. There are just certain limitations about stress. So we need to consult first our doctor, our physician. Never allow a day to pass without exercising, guys. Because this can really improve your physique. You will have a toned muscle. You will have a conditioned body. You feel you don't actually feel that you're too heavy. So you can do everything so swiftly and with, with ease. Right? So exercise, guys, can help you improve the vital organs of your body and could also improve the performance of your immune system the number three is what is this can you guess what's the number three number three is the sleep so have enough uh, sleep get some sleep guys so we really require eight hours sleeping as we sleep at night our cells are regenerating we allow our body to take a rest so that you know, when you sleep, you'll be able to replenish all the energy that's lost, used in that particular day. Or there are actually health risks whenever a person um, sleeps only in a small amount of time. So we do require that you really be able to sleep 8 hours. That's really needed. That's the advice coming from the health professionals. When you have this one, you will have focus for tomorrow's activity. Um, you feel that you are really conditioned every time you wake up in the morning. Once you have gotten enough sleep, um, your your focus, your attention, you don't suffer headache, right? Because your body is well conditioned. And aside from that, when you have enough sleep, it's like beauty rests, right? Because your cells are regenerating. Um, your cells are improving because of that so get enough sleep and you are able to meet that eight hours sleeping you will have concentration you have good mental health right so that's it guys these three elements i hope that you will also be able to apply the simple sharing about how to stay fit or how to become healthy and we need to do it because we are actually in this difficult situation and we need to prepare our body, a body that is healthy, strong, and that is so tough to be penetrated by these viruses. So it's me once again, your friend right here, the well body would say, stay healthy all the time and God bless you.